Andrew Abbott has been dynamite. He has not allowed a run. Incredible the impact all these young players have had. Andrew Abbott has been fantastic so far. Keep it rolling. Brent Doyle's in the leadoff spot this afternoon. Doyle hits it to deep right field, going back to the wall, and it is gone. Jake Fraley went to the wall, and the perfect start for Andrew Abbott is gone. Brenton Doyle with his first leadoff homer, his fifth of the year, one nothing Rockies. You know, this guy had made history, Andrew Abbott, first player since the 1800s to begin his career with three scoreless starts of five innings or more. That has ended with that one swing from Brenton Doyle. And here's Nolan Jones, last night's hitting star. 2-2. Two -two. Is fisted to left, long run for Benson, dives and can't get to it. Jones takes a big turn, but he'll hold with a base hit. Ryan McMahon sends it in the air to right center field. The center fielder Friedel will grab it. One down. Hard grab ball to third. Steer backhand. India one. Double play. Hey, Rockies up a run as the Reds come to bat. Jake Burt's used to running in from the bullpen. The Rockies kind of forced to go with an opener today. Originally, they were going to start Connor Siebold, but Connor has some tightness in his tricep, so the Rockies called back Carl Kaufman. He arrived literally, Spilly, about 90 minutes ago, and we expect Kaufman will follow up Jake Bird. And the 3-2, boy, that had a lot of downward action. Jake's pumped up as he strikes out a tough man in Friedel, one gone. Here's the pitch to Steer. He swings and pops it up. On the infield right side to Montero and he will make the catch for out number two. India in the air right field Jones against the wall makes the catch hands on his hips India thought he had it. He thought he had a homer. That's the way this ballpark plays but it stayed in the yard. Here's Elaris Montero trying to work out of a slump. He's 0 for his last 20. And the pitch is hit well to left field. Going back is Benson to the track, and it's gone. Into the wind in left field is Montero. There goes the 0 for 20. It's a solo home run. Second one of those for the Rockies today. And boy, did he ever need that. I am so happy for Larry. And it's 2-0 Colorado. Carl Kaufman is going to get the call for the Rockies. And the pitch on the way. It's drilled to left field on the move as Gritchick dives and he makes the catch. Oh, what a play by Gritchick on the first pitch here in the bottom of the third inning. Don't know that he got a great jump on it, but he recovered beautifully. Diving catch to his right. It's the first out. 2-2 two -two pitch. Looking to bunt. He pulled the bat back. It's called strike three, and Friedel is out. With two strikes, what was Friedel doing there? Wait, what? I think the 12-30 start for some of these guys is just a little too early for him. Spencer Steer now the hitter. And a pitch is lined right to the shortstop. Kaiser's got that. And Carl Kaufman a quick 1-2-3 against the Reds in the third inning. Fourth inning here in Cincinnati. The Rockies with a 2 to nothing lead. Randall had the terrific May. It's cooled off some in June. Got to think a barrage of long balls given his history is coming. Just one so far and just like that he's hit number two. See, he asking you shall receive. Three solo home runs for the Rockies, and it's three to nothing in the fourth here in Cincinnati. You know, they're solo homers like we talked about, but they're homers nonetheless. They still count at least one, and Randall Gritchick had to feel good. He hasn't had one of those in a long time, and the Rockies tack on. Well done. Bottom of the fifth inning, three nothing Rockies. Carl Kaufman in his third inning of work. Lotto hit by a pitch by Jake Bird, who started and went the first two innings for the Rockies. Kaufman, two and two for Carl. And he clips Votto again. Well, Blotz can come out and say, that pitch might have been a strike. Votto, did he stick his elbow out there? He did. That could have been strike three. Well, Votto's got a reputation for that. He crowds a plate, and he gets hit by a lot of pitches by doing just what he did right there. I don't think there's anything Bud can do about this, but he's right. Leadoff man on again for the Reds. Tyler Stevenson, the hitter. Payoff. Left side with eyes. That sneaks through. Base hit. 
Now the Reds are in business with runners at first and second base and nobody out. Miss low, bases loaded. And here comes Bud Black. So Kaufman KO'd after three straight Reds reach. Carasetti is on. Bailey saw one pitch his first time, and he greeted Kaufman with a well-hit line drive that was caught by Gritchick and left. I'll take a hard ground ball up the middle. Bottle scores. Stevenson to the plate. The throw offline. Runners in between. Good backup by the pitcher. Luke Maley delivers. Two-run single. Reds within one. Really nice bit of hitting right up the middle. T.J. Friedel has struck out twice. Horner's pinch. Nobody out. Hard ground ball off the glove of Montez. Wave is on. Benson scores. Tie game. Maley goes to third. Well, it's just a matter of time. The guys have been hitting the ball hard, squaring it up. Now it's just finding some holes out there. But the dam has been broken. 3 2 pitch Friedel runs the pitch is strike three throw out the second no throw back home they called an out at second base on India getting in the way of Austin wins throw to second base and will unbelievably go to the sixth inning tied at three. So in the sixth inning, the top of the order uh, against Andrew Abbott. Abbott has struck out seven. He's allowed three solo home runs. And he's got eight strikeouts. Lifts that big league career highs. Swing and miss. Back to back strikeouts. Three in a row bridging innings. And a career high nine for Abbott. Two and two. Struck him out. Four straight strikeouts. Double digits on the day. Bottom of the eighth inning, tied up at three. One out, Ellie De La Cruz, the batter. The pitch looped in the air down the left field line. Gritchick over, won't get there. Falls in base head. De La Cruz challenges for two. Throw to second lay. Hustle flare double. De La Cruz is dangerous. If you do not catch this ball, just put it in your pocket. You got no chance of throwing him out at second base. So here is Jake Fraley with a runner at second base. Fraley yanks it to right toward the corner, and it is gone! Fraley lines it out of here, and the Reds are on top five to three. Boy, you could hunt every shirt in this ballpark on that clothesline. That was a laser. And there you have it. Make things happen. And the Viking, Jake Fraley, with the big home run to put the Reds up by two. Top of the ninth inning, the Rockies trail five to three, a ball game. They led three to nothing. Randall Gritchick trying to keep it alive, 2-1. And this ball is lined to left center field, and it's going to get down and kiss off the wall. So Gritchick keeps it alive for Colorado with a two-out double. Be careful here with Alfaro. Definitely has the power to tie this thing up. To first corner of the fly. The Reds have caught fire. They sweep the Rockies, and the Cincinnati Reds are riding their longest win streak in 66 years. It's 11 in a row for the Redlegs.